These are not the police officers you're used to. They're not soldiers either. They're MEMS paramedics, the same people you typically see in this capacity. This isn't medical training though. It's tactical training. The MEMS Special Tactics and Response Team tags along with police during hostage situations, drug busts, search warrants, you name it. One of the reasons they go through all the training is so that if we have people that are in need of medical attention and it's still a hot area that hasn't been cleared, we can bring them in. And that means being prepared for anything. That's the last thing we want to do with our law enforcement agencies is them to say, hey, where's the medic or, or worry about us because they've got to focus forward. Here the MEMS team is practicing a forced entry situation where an officer goes down. Man down! Go in there, go in there with you, get in there with you. Get in there with you. Make his weapon safe. They have to treat him on the spot. Let's get tourniquets on there. This is another part of the training. It's called weapons qualifications. I'm aiming for that target right up there. The actual MEMS drills are, of course, a little bit tougher, and they have to be. MEMS aims to save lives, but being a part of this type of operation means they're putting their own lives on the line. 